I want to share with you another leadership principle, another kingdom leadership principle, and talk to you about what I like to call the line principle and share a fact or a characteristic trait about a line and how we can apply it into our personal life, uh, how we can apply um, you know, biblical and kingdom principles to help us to grow spiritually and to, for us to grow as uh, kingdom leaders. And here's this fact. Uh, that lions hunt in groups typically, sometimes individual, but overall in groups, uh, in order to increase their chances of catching a prey. You know, I've made other videos about lions that, you know, they're, sometimes they attack a water buffalo that's very big and strong, a giraffe, I've seen them, uh, elephants, and other prey, you know, that could be fast and et cetera. And uh, what's happening is, um, I just had a bug in the lens. Hey, anyway, stop bugging me this bug. I'm trying to make an important video here. <laughs> and uh, so why because by doing so when they have two or three lines or you know they strategically position themselves one is chasing you know the impala the other one is sitting in the bushes to to ambush it you know figure bushes to ambush it to attack it and that way they increase their chances of catching a prey and eating so what is the leadership principle or takeaway or the kingdom principle that we can learn from this particular fact as leaders or as god's children uh, we need to unite together uh towards the same goal in order to achieve the same purpose and we'll have greater results uh, John Maxwell would say it this way, teamwork makes the dream work. And we understand that when the husband and wife are working together as a team, then it's benefiting the whole family. As soon as the, that team uh, of a husband and wife, they start going against each other, it's causing family problems, especially if they have children, and it could eventually lead to divorce and to separation, and that's already a mess in itself. Uh, so that also applies when it comes to, you know, the pastor. Uh, it doesn't matter how great of a pastor uh, that person may be. Even in my case, I have a phenomenal pastor, but I even I understand that my own pastor, he needs everyone in his leader team, all the other pastors and everyone that's uh, the staff in the church to fulfill that greater vision. So as, as the whole church, as the whole ministry works together, this uh, principle also applies in business, in any sphere of life. In order for you to even uh, right now, uh, one of the businesses that I, I work and function in with uh, with my friend as as a partner is as general contractor on construction. We understand we need to work together. We can't just go out there. Hey, you know, we're, we're the ones that are going to be building this whole house or this whole residential property. No, we need everybody to be doing their own things. Framers doing framing stuff, uh, concrete guys doing the concrete, electricians, plumbers, and etc. And when we orchestrate everything together, eventually at the end of it all. We look at the finished product, wow, you know, it's a nice looking house, let's sell it, let's make money, let's move on. So the fact that, you know, uh, these lines operate with this type of a principle by working together, I think our Heavenly Father also wants us to teach us. Even Jesus had a group of 12 disciples, obviously later minus one, because he understood uh, it would take just more than just, just Jesus to fulfill the kingdom purpose, because he knew he was on this earth temporary. And even though he's physically not living in this earth, his spirit, the Holy Spirit is living inside of us and he's using us all as the body of Christ to work together as uh, as you know it talks about in the first Corinthians uh, Apostle Paul often talks oftentimes talks about our spiritual gifts that we all these gifts come together towards unity and towards the growth of the overall body of Christ and the finger cannot say to the eye I don't need you the leg cannot say to the arm, I don't need you. No, we all need one another. So hopefully, my friend, this was a powerful uh, leadership lesson for you. A takeaway lesson, a discipleship lesson. I would love to hear your comments about this particular uh, lesson and subject matter. And uh, be blessed, my friend, and always understand that uh, God will use you powerfully, but it's not about you. It, uh, there's many things that God wants to use you for, but it will require other individuals in order to accomplish that dream, that goal, that kingdom assignment of purpose. All right, my friend, be blessed. And until next time.